because it it takes a lot of energy to motivate oneself and we have to be very lucky to be wired the right way to be constantly motivated I know that I struggle with that. For me, motivation, for me personally, comes, it doesn't come from like this um, empty thought, like this invisible thing, motivation that just floats above my head and I'm constantly hyped and whatnot. For me, it comes from goals. I need to set goals and, and deadlines. You know when to practice. Um, if I had to ask you, Josh, no, it, when for you, what's your idea of the best time of the day to practice? Uh, I, well, I might practice at night, like 7 to 9. And do you, you, do you, is that because you have to, because I've been there? Or because you found that that's the time that you are most efficient at? Yeah, it's generally the most efficient. Uh, do, you, do you know? Right? The time of the day that is, that I know that you, you just started with me, but this would be a very interesting exercise. I just practice as in, say for instance, I'm in between something, I'll just grab my pad and just... Right, that, that might cause issues down the line. Yeah. Because you're looking at practice as, I have nothing else to do. The problem is when I ask, because this is happens, I ask my students, so, so uh, why do you want to play the drums? Why do you play the drums? I don't know. All answers are good, but that one. <laughs> Because I love it, because I want to be a professional drummer, because I like the sound of it, because I like Chad Smith, because I like even even if they say Lars Ulrich, uh, <laughs> even that answer would be okay, because I can change that. <laughs> I can change. Yes. I don't know. And I'm pretty sure that 100% of students that answered I don't know stopped drumming in the space of a year. For me, and I still remember this, I had a teacher that would just always, like the classroom didn't even have a, a, a board. And I'm a read write learner. Can you imagine how well I learned in the lesson? It was horrible. I couldn't keep up with anything. Like this guy would play the, the lick super slow. But I'm not, I can't. My brain just doesn't process information like that. These categories exist. So by the fourth note, I wouldn't know what the first one was. Taking days off of practice, super important. Super important. It's like working out. The recovery is what makes the muscle grow. Everything else is just scarring that muscle more and more and more. You're just injuring yourself every day. Self-awareness and honesty. And that's the last one. Basically, knowing when to change methods, knowing when it's not right, knowing when to slow down, knowing when to speed up, being aware of the, the whole practice process, knowing when you're kind of doing it, you know, when you're just pressing those doubles instead of bouncing those doubles. We've all been there. I many times attempted during my learning um, journey, attempted to hack my way into exercises. Like, oh, I, I know, I know how to get, you know, like, you know what I mean? We've all done that. And anyone that says otherwise is lying. But <laughs> self-awareness is difficult to, to develop because it's self-awareness requires a lot of focus and, and presence of spirit and requires being okay with always being on top of your of your own case. So you know like you're always in your face like are you doing this right? I'm like that. I'm very harsh on myself when I'm practicing. Um, and I get I don't get annoyed anymore, but I get, get very tired. For me, practicing these days is not a mindless thing at all, so I get very drained, it's very exhausting, uh, because I realize that the only way I can actually execute things at a high level, the things that I do execute well, or fairly well, they came from me wanting to. And I had to always focus on the intention of the exercise. 